Hagen Kam students, welcome again. Uh, we are in chapter issue of bonus and right, bonus and right shifts. We have solved three question in this video. You will find the solution of question number four. Here in question number four, the price capital of company is 1200,000 divided into 12,000 equity share at the rate of 100 each, out of which 8,000 share have been subscribed. So, subscribe capital is 8,000 at the rate of 100 each. The company has the following and dispose of balances 230,000 credit balance in profit and loss account and 285,000 in general reserve. The company has decided in general. Uh, meeting that the uh, <coughs> general meeting to capitalize the necessary parts of the above balance balance by issuing 1000 fully paid equity share at par as bonus at the rate of one fully paid share for eight share held. Mean for eight share held, we will uh, issue one bonus share. The balance of the profit and loss account is first to be exhausted and then the general reserve is to be drawn. Mean for the bonus uh, shares, we will utilize, capitalize the profit and loss account first and then the general reserve. Give the general entry uh, to give the effect to the above transaction. Very simple question, same like question number three. Uh, it's uh, only required uh, entry. So we will solve it here. Question number four. So in question number four, number of bonus shares, number of bonus, number of bonus share we will calculate, number of bonus shares, <coughs> to the subscribe capital is how much, the number of share are 8000. And we will allow one bonus share to eight shares held. So, how much would be the number of bonus shares? The number of bonus share would be uh, 1000. 1000. The amount of bonus share, the amount of bonus share. 1000 at the rate of 100 each so it would be 10,000 <coughs> so let's pass the general entry only general entry is required so first we will utilize the profit and loss account so profit Profit and loss account be debit. What is the business of profit and loss account in question? It is um, profit and loss account is how much? 230,000. So we profit and loss account is how much? 230,000. Profit and loss account, right? So we have to pass the necessary, uh, necessary. We will capitalize profit and loss account for the bonus share. That is ten thousand. We have sufficient balance in profit and loss account. So uh, ten thousand would be debit. Uh, it is one hundred thousand. Sorry, one hundred. But we have sufficient balance in profit and loss. It is 230,000. We have still um, sufficient balance in profit and loss account. So there is no need to utilize the general reserve account to bonus to share. There is no need to capitalize the general reserve because we have sufficient amount in profit and loss account. Then we will alert the shares to the equity shareholder bonus to shareholder will be debit 
and it would be allotted to equity shareholder. Equity shareholder. One hundred thousand. It is general entry. Um, balance sheet is not required, but if you want uh, to draw the balance sheet, you can draw. Let's draw it, but it is not required. So the balance sheet of this question will be like this. If I use one point for balance sheet, it would be better. Liability and equity side. You should write the proper heading. Take the asset side. So, how much is this authorized capital? Authorized capital 12,000 shares, the rate of 100 each. So, it would be 1200,000 double underline subscribe capital. Eight thousand shares at the rate of hundred each, so it would be eight hundred thousand. Eight hundred, eight hundred thousand. Sorry, we have also eight hundred thousand. You should write in inner column eight hundred thousand. Mm, subscribe capital eight hundred thousand plus. We have also issued the bonus share. That is one thousand. So the number of share would be 9,800 each, 100,000, the total subscribed capital would be 900,000. Then we have what? We have profit and loss account, profit and loss, profit and loss. Prior balance was how much? 230,000. And we have utilized 100,000 as a bonus share. The remaining balance is how much? 130,000. And general reserve will be remain unchanged because it is not utilized in this question to 85,000. So the sum of this side would be. One hundred thirty-one thousand thousand thirteen. It is one million three hundred and fifteen thousand. And the other side, you should write in sundry assets. The same amount. It is the end of question number four.